Hey guys, it's Robin. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I have got what I've been warming today. So we have the vast majority here is Scentsy today. We have a bit of Vendor Wax as well. Um, but we have what I've been warming in my house over the last about two weeks, I think it's been, maybe 10 days, somewhere in there. So this is about a week and a half to two weeks worth of warming. And I'm just going to go through what I've warmed, share with you where I warmed it, how it did, so you might decide what might work well in your home or what you might want to try. So we will start with the, what do we have here? Our bedroom is closest to me right here. So I'll start with the master bedroom. I did vanilla cream. I did two cubes of this. It was very light, which is what I wanted. I think I had a headache that day. I've had a lot of those recently with the smoke in the air and the weather changes. Um, so vanilla cream it was. This is very nice. This one is always just kind of pleasant and a good go-to if you don't know what you want or if you don't feel like anything super scented. Um, this is one that is a go-to for me when that is happening. This was a recent bring back my bar. To my nose, this is indistinguishable from Simply Vanilla, which is in my club. That one is like French vanilla and coconut milk, and I get the same type of notes in this as well. It's very soft, very pretty, nothing perfumey here. Um, it's just a very classic French vanilla type scent, very smooth, very rounded, really nice. Um, on the light side, under normal circumstances, I do double this. I do four cubes, this time I only did two. Um, I also saw that sometimes mix this with like French lavender. So you do two of each then. So this is a good one and also really nice for mixing. Pinkberry fluff. I think I did four cubes of this. I can't remember. Yeah, it was four cubes. So yeah, four cubes of this one. This one is very, very pretty. This was from the Easter Trio. Um, I did stock up on more of this one in a like one time Scentsy Club. And I did also put this in my quarterly club. So there is this one. This one is like marshmallow. There's a little bit of something almost musky, like body care perfumey in here as well. Um, on warm, I find more marshmallowy just comes out and it's really, really soft and cuddly. I really enjoy this one and it's perfect for the bedroom. I think anyone's like any bedroom, this would be perfect for. So love this one. It is very light. Um, I find bedrooms only and double the amount of wax with this one. There are some bars where if you double the amount of wax, it doesn't make much difference. This one is one where if you double the amount of wax, you do actually get more payoff from the scent and it lasts for longer. So this one gives me two days if I double the wax and it's about a medium strength if I do that. If I don't double the wax, I get nothing from this. So in this case, doubling the wax makes it nothing versus a pretty decent performer. So there's that one. This one I had just been craving. Um, I've been talking about the scent with one of my friends on Instagram and just was like, yeah, I want to warm that. So this one is just a catalog classic. And this one is just to my nose, like quintessential Scentsy. I love this one. This one is like coconut milk. And I think there's orange in here. There's like, I think there's like some green notes, but everything in here is so different from what Scentsy currently makes. This is like a very classic scent. This is so well-rounded and so well-blended. You can't really smell any specific notes. The greens in here are nothing like the current Scentsy green notes. The orange in here is just a bit of a sweetness. There's nothing punchy or citrusy about it. It is a smooth, I wouldn't say creamy, but like rounded, very rounded, smooth, fresh, like pretty scent. This is gorgeous. This one is also strong enough for anywhere in the house, at least in my home. Um, I tend to warm this in bedrooms and bathrooms though. I have heard people say this one doesn't do well in their open layouts. I don't know that I've ever tried this in the open layout personally, but I would like it in the open layout. So I might have to try that and see how it does. But this is gorgeous. And so now I'm out, I am going to repurchase this for sure. This is one I always keep in my collection because I rarely warm this one, but I love it when I do. And when you have a hankering for this scent, you need to have some on hand. So Amazon Rain, if you haven't tried this one, you really should. This is like a sleeper favorite and a classic. Next, we have Peppermint Rush. I did one cube of this in the bedroom. Again, it was a migraine day. It's, it's been rough that way lately. Um, and I only did one cube. So I did one cube in the bedroom just of this very minty, minty, minty scent. So this one is, I think, Spearmint, Peppermint, and that might be it. It's very minty. And when this first came out, people were kind of comparing it to toothpaste. And I was like, mm, I don't really think it's toothpaste-y. Um, and I didn't, I didn't get that on warm the first time either. But this time with the one cube that I did, I kind of got toothpaste a little bit. So it wasn't unpleasant, like toothpaste isn't unpleasant, but it was just toothpastey. So it was fine. It didn't last as long as I'd hoped, but again, I only used one cube and I didn't really want it strong at that time. So it was minty, it was pleasant. Is this one that I just need? I'm a mint lover. 
love mint scents. I don't think I've ever met a mint scent I don't like. Um, this one is just kind of okay for me. I wouldn't repurchase it. I didn't club it or anything. It's I have this bar. This is all I have. And that's okay with me. There are many mint scents that I prefer. I prefer Best in Snow, Peppermint Dreams, um, Frosted Vanilla. There are many mint scents I like better. And so there's that one. It's all right. And it does have a very strong following. People love that scent. Next, we did one of the melting basket challenges. This was for day four. This is Air of Adventure Mandalorian. I was going to do all four cubes because I had four cubes left. Again, headaches all week. Ended up with just two cubes in the warmer t that, t that day. Um, and actually, I remember now why I do that, why I double the wax with this one. This is, again, kind of like Pinkberry Fluff, where if you only use two cubes in a bedroom, you get nothing. If you use four cubes in the bedroom, you get about a a four to 10 strength scent for about two days, two to three days. So this one is gorgeous. It is like a, I almost get this like huckleberry note, but there's definitely a sage note here. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's a sweet, crisp, almost fresh, but like morning dew fresh rather than like ocean fresh. Um, it's very, very pretty, very pretty. But I remember now why I double the wax. So yeah, I didn't smell this at all, and I was laying right beside it because I was in bed of the migraine. Um, didn't get anything from this, so you definitely need to double the wax with this one. And I would say bedrooms or smaller spaces only. But yeah, this one's gorgeous, and this one is in my club, and I love this one. But double the wax or you're probably going to be disappointed with the performance. Then I did one of the Father's Day bars. This was a while back now. This was High Mountain Lake. This one, ah yes, this one is the um, one we've all kind of been waiting for as like a lake scent. This one smells to me a lot on warm, like Blue Coconut Beach from the Mother's Day collection. In fact, so much so, I did two cubes in the bedroom. When I would walk in there, I was like, am I doing Blue Coconut Beach again? Like I, I kept thinking I'd put that in, but it was this. And this one did go for, again, a couple days, very much like Blue Coconut Beach did. But this one was very much like blue coconut beach without the coconut and just that kind of cuddly blue coconut beach has kind of this like cuddliness or cuddly note um and almost like a like a coolness to it this one has that same coolness and that same cuddliness i this is very different than i expected so this is almost like the father's day version of the mother's day scent from blue coconut beach it's okay um it's not what I would repurchase, it's okay. It's not what I was expecting or maybe hoping. It's pleasant, but it's very different than I expected. And again, I don't think this would be strong enough for an open layout of any size. I think this is definitely a small, maybe medium sized space scent, but I would say like regular size bedrooms are smaller. Um, again, pleasant, um, not much to say about it. It kind of smelled to me like pool water a little bit. Like I almost got like a hint of like pool water or like chlorine from it that I didn't get from Blue Coconut Beach. So if I had to pick, I think I'd pick Blue Coconut Beach over this, but they're both fine. This one has less of the coconut. If you're not into coconut, there is no coconut here. But I get like cozy, cuddly, bedroomy, like cozy, cuddly, soft pool water. I think if you liked uh, the Ravenclaw bar, this is much lighter than that, um, but I get a similar note somewhere that I get from the Ravenclaw bar here. Because Ravenclaw sometimes to me also comes across like pool water, and this one I think is, there's something in common there. And again, they're not dupes, they're not the same, but I think if you liked Ravenclaw, it would be worth checking out the uh, High Mountain Lake. Yeah, it's pleasant enough. I'll enjoy it and get through it. Then on to bathrooms. I did the other Father's Day bar in my guest bathroom and the laundry room. This is Desert Rock and Citron. This one I like. This one I didn't think I would like. I thought I would like High Mountain Lake better. I prefer this one. This one is stronger. This one reminds me a little bit of a slightly masculine, but not super cologne at all, um, slightly masculine uh, Shoreline Drive is what this reminds me of. You get sea salt, you get minerals. Yeah, sea salt minerals with just a tiny hint of like something masculine. Um, maybe masculine, like, I don't know if it's cologne or like body care, but there's something a little bit, I don't know, like something a little bit cologne or masculine there in the back. But mostly this is like 
minerals and like salt with some citrus which reminds me a lot of like shoreline drive maybe even sand swept um but yeah i quite like this one again not one i'd repurchase because i don't tend to reach for these types of scents all that often but it is a good one and it is a good strong one this one i did in the bathroom in the laundry room I smelled it for about two days in the laundry room and it was strong enough that it wafted out and i would smell it all throughout the hallway so this one seems to be a decent performer and yeah nothing bad to say about this one i quite enjoyed it and the wax i thought was kind of a unique color um which is kind of a weird thing but this is like a like dark grayish teal almost which is really pretty so there's that one then we did rainforest bungalow this was day one of the may melting challenge i had meant to warm this entire bar in my open layout that was my plan but then again i ended up home with a really really bad headache and i couldn't do this one in the open layout like that wasn't going to be able to happen yeah no um yeah whoo that one is strong so this one i ended up doing what did i do with this one i think i did a cube in each bathroom and in the laundry room so three cubes total laundry room bathroom bathroom and it was strong even with that it lasted only about a day i don't think i smelled it beyond about 24 hours so it was a shorter lived scent but very powerful green and i think it was way too strong for me for the first six or eight hours or so um but after that it did kind of smooth out for the first six or eight hours i was like holding my breath in the bathroom because it was so strong um and just just potent green but again i wasn't feeling very well i had a really bad headache for days um so i wasn't really in a big scent mood at that point but this one um after about eight hours this one was very pleasant it did kind of smell rainforesty it kind of made me think i was like you know outside and it was humid and green and it wasn't unpleasant it was actually quite nice at that point it took a bit to get there though this is very strong and that could be because this bar has aged for a little while as well but very strong so this one again not a purchase for me but if you're into green scents i would look out for this one watch for it at flash sales um it seems to be a very good performer and very strong so if you're into green scents and if you love like cucumber and cactus water um and those types of scents be on the lookout for this one in bring back my bar voting um because you'll probably want to vote for it so there's that one Next we have My Only Sunshine. This one is one from Bring Back My Bar last year. This is a very pretty soft perfumey scent. Very like sweet. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, chamomile petals with maybe more apple. Sorry, the bird just landed and it distracted me. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. Um, it's very sweet. Like I get like golden apple, maybe um, perfume and like a sweet golden apple. There's a magpie outside. I just, I like magpies. They're like white and black and they have like blue stripes on them. They just, I, I get a kick out of them. They're so like sassy. I don't know. Um, this one I did in bathrooms, one in each bathroom. This was so light, I couldn't actually smell it. I didn't smell this at any point in time. So I think this is one where I think what I'll do next is do four whole cubes in the bedroom and see how that does. I do remember this being light when I first got it as well, but now it seems to be even lighter. And I think bathrooms maybe aren't the place for this. Because even though bathrooms are small, you only use one cube of wax usually, at least in my bathroom, because I only have room for a mini warmer in there. So one cube of wax with this one doesn't cut it. So I think what I'll do is try a bedroom with four cubes for the rest of the bar. But this one is very pretty on cold, but again, I, I didn't get anything from it in either bathroom this time. Then in the office, I had done a sample from my friend Becky of Haunted Leaves from Sassy Girl Aroma. This one was Leafy Greens, Pines, Spiced, Floral, and Earth. This was really nice and very fallish. This one, oh, this one is, oh, this one's good. Okay, I'm going to probably have to get a one of these in a brittle or something um, when I order from them in the fall. Sassy Girl Aroma has some fantastic fall scents, and I'm going to have to place another order from them in the fall. I just got an order of, like, some, mostly summer, but some fall scents just recently. I'll do a haul of that here shortly, but... Haunted Leaves was very good. This one is about a medium medium strength. Um, I would say about a day, maybe day and a half. But this one, I get like, do I get apple? I feel like I get something sweet here. Like I'm not sure what I'm getting that's sweet, but I would swear there's apple here. Um, the pine here is very like non-aggressive. Spiced floral, yes. Earth, yes. This is just good. Like, there's something sweet here, too, though, that I'm not sure what it is, but this is a beautiful scent. Very earthy, though. I think if you like earthy scents, 
that would be one to try as long as you also don't mind sweet. Uh, chamomile petals. This is the April scent of the month that I just got to in the last week or two. Um, I didn't order the consultant kit, so I just grabbed a bar in my most recent order. This one is exactly what I expected it to be. It's a kind of sweet, um, I would say fairly approachable floral. This is one that I think even people who don't like florals might be okay with. If you hate floral, you're not going to like it. But if you don't mind floral, this is one you might be okay with. If you like things like, um, what is that one? Scarlet Sunflower, you might like this. They're not the same, but the thing they have in common is that they're a perfumey floral mixed with a fruit. So Scarlet Sunflower has that cranberry and the sunflower. This one has like apple with like chamomile petals. It's a very pretty like summery late spring floral. Um, yeah, it was okay. Did this in the office and it was about a medium strength in there, which is like an average size bedroom. Um, yeah, it was about the same on warm that it was on cold. No change to the scent profile to my nose. Um, it was okay, but an average performer, it's okay. It's not one I would repurchase because I'm not huge into florals. I think if you like florals, you should really give that one a try. But for me, I'm just so picky on florals and I don't reach for them very often. This one's not a repurchase for me, but I will enjoy the rest of this bar. Then my daughter's room. We had done a sample that my friend Sara in New Zealand had sent in our last swap. This one is Berry Fairy Tale. It's pineapple, raspberry, and star apple. This one was pretty. It was a kind of a nice light kind of fruity berry scent. It was nice in her room. Then we did Moana Spirit of Mont Nui. This one, we did two cubes. This one is crazy strong. Now this one is aged. This one is from, I got it off the black market before it came back last year. So this bar has been sitting for a while, like almost two years. This one was so strong. Um, like it went for like, I want to say four days and you could still smell it as soon as you walked in, like four days. So Moana tends to be a decent performer in my experience, even new. But this one, after sitting for a couple years, was intensely strong and so good. Like, so juicy, so fruity. This one, I'm not sure what the notes are, but what I get is like maybe watermelon. There's some kind of melon here. Watermelon or honeydew. There's something a little bit aquatic, but it's like a fresh, maybe ocean water, but not perfumey or cloying. This is a fruity scent maybe apple i'm not sure it's a very tropical fruity summery happy scent this is gorgeous love it i do have more Mo moana in my collection i didn't club her i kind of wish i had but that is a very good bar i hope we see this back then i had done the tinkerbell bar this is from the peter pan collection this is tinkerbell sweet and sassy this one is i think there's like kiwi in here and there's, it's fruity, it's citrusy, pineapple, maybe kiwi, and I think there's like fairy dust as well. This is sweet and fruity, and to my nose, this was like 95% the same as mango margarita. Now, I happen to have a bar of mango margarita right here. So this one was a recently available bar. This one is currently available. Yeah, they're so close, like to my nose. Even side by side, I would say like 90% the same. They're both like pineapple-y, summery, tropical, mango-y scents, fruity. This one has a slight, slight, slight body care note to it that this one does not. Um, that is the difference to my nose, is this one has a very slightly body care note that comes out more the longer this goes. Um, you don't get much of it on cold, but about day two, day two, this one started to get kind of like a like slightly perfumey body care scent. Very pretty, very like child friendly still. Not at all like adult lady perfumey. This was like little kid perfumey and this is good. This was very pleasant. Um, did this in my daughter's room, two cubes. Her room tends to hold wax very well. I've heard people say this is not performing that well for them or they're finding it very light. I would say probably not a good open space scent at all. <laughs> Definitely bedrooms and smaller bedrooms at that, and you would probably still struggle if you had air conditioners or windows open or that sort of thing going. So where I live lately, it's been perfect warming temperatures lately. 
because it's been not so cold that the furnace has to be on so there's no airflow with the furnace but the windows aren't open all the time yet either so the house is kind of closed up with air fairly still which is kind of like perfect warming i guess conditions so this one my daughter's room always holds scent really well but this one did quite well in her room it did about two days um i wouldn't say it was like anything more than like a, maybe a four four to ten in strength so like light medium but it was pleasant, like really pleasant. She enjoyed it and she got a kick out of Tinkerbell being on there. We will enjoy the rest of this. It's not one we need more of though, especially not since I have Mango Margarita, but this was very pleasant. And I think any kid's room would be a, it would be a perfect scent for any kid's room. Then we did in her room, a Violet Sponge Sugar. We finished off a bar. This one was from the Easter Trio. This one is like, I don't know. Like I liked this one a lot to begin with. And I don't know if it's just sitting longer and different notes are coming out or if it's my nose changing towards it but I don't care for this one anymore this one smells like garlic to me and I don't know why and I that's so weird um if anyone else gets that please let me know below but there's something in here especially as it goes on where this smells like garlic and I had this in my daughter's room this week I have since warmed other things in there I can still smell this this lingering in there as this like almost like garlicky scent and it is this this smells very garlic even to my nose right now, which is so weird. Um, this one is a pretty kind of sweet, similar-ish to Starburst Sky to my nose a little bit even. Slightly floral, slightly perfumey. It's very pretty. Um, but to my nose, one of the florals in here smells like garlic. And that, now that I'm thinking of it, there was a floral bath and body work shower gel I had. I think it was almond flower or almond blossom. I had that like a year ago. It was a shower gel from Bath & Body Works. That one also smelled like garlic to my nose sometimes. So there is a floral note to my nose that reads weird. I don't know, maybe it's in here. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we're done with this one. This one goes for days though. So in her bedroom, this one lasted for like three days. It did very well. Um, so there's that. And then last in my daughter's room, I did Goodnight Sweetheart. This was from my recent Sassy Girl Aroma order. This one is pink sugar, sweet lavender, birthday cake, and cotton candy frosting. And this one is a very like sweet kind of bakery scent with a tiny hint of lavender, but it's vast majority birthday cake and pink and cotton candy. Um, it is very, very delicious. This one is a perfect bedroom scent to my nose and it is gorgeous. So this one, however, is very light. So I did two cubes in my daughter's room. We really could like just barely smell it for maybe like four to six hours. Um, in, in our room, we did this as well with four cubes and again, could barely smell it at all. So this one I think will cure well. This is a brand new brittle, um, but I think this one needs to cure a bit. And sometimes, especially like vanilla and cotton candy type scents, they do tend to benefit from just sitting a while. So this one is gonna get put away for a bit, let it sit for a while and rest, and then I'll pull it out again in a few months. Then on to the open layout. We did a bar of welcome home on a cold rainy day. Just wanted something kind of comforting and cozy. And this was it. This is like a nice kind of basic cinnamon scent. It's a little bit sweet, but not super sugary sweet. Um, just kind of a nice gentle spice. And I would say a gentle spice. There's nothing super crazy spicy about this. It was a fairly light performer in my open layout. Um, I would say light to light medium. Maybe, yeah, again, maybe a 4 out of 10. And we've had a lot of 4 out of 10s today. Um, but this one wasn't overly strong. I was making like crock pot chicken soup. It was like a perfect, like, rainy day type scent. Um, I will have, I will repurchase this so I have it on hand all the time. Um, but yeah, I probably won't warm, warm it again for a while. I like to save these scents for cooler weather. Um, then I did Grapefruit Sunshine. It warmed up. We wanted something a bit more summery. This one is nice. It's like kind of, I got this on a flash sale haul last year. This is kind of a nice like grapefruit scent. It's fairly, it's not super bitter. It's a sweet grapefruit. I would say, again, light medium in the open layout. It would probably do better more close to like a medium in a smaller space, but it did fine. It was a good like one day, 24 hours type scent. Welcome Home was more like a 12 hour type scent in my open layout. Uh, then we did Black Raspberry Vanilla for the melting challenge. This one is perfumier than, than I remember. This one had more musk to it. Um, this was day three for the melting challenge. This one, yeah. I think it's because the bar has been sitting for like a year. This bar I bought about a year ago and it's been sitting. So maybe it's just that the blackberry has kind of smoothed out and the muskiness has kind of intensified a bit. But this one was kind of a nice like body care berry scent. 
It kind of reminds me of Bath and Body Works Black Raspberry Vanilla. It's pretty, very pretty. So there's that one. And again, this one I would say maybe like a four or five out of 10 in strength. Not super strong, but you could definitely smell it and it was definitely scenting the space. And I would say this one was like a, like 18 to 24 hour type scent. Blueberry Rush, this is a good one. If you ever see this in a flash sale or bring back my bar voting, I highly recommend it. This one, I think there's like a whole bunch of kinds of berries in here. There's like blueberry, I wanna say blackberry, raspberry. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is like berry sweetness cotton candy. So good and so strong. This one is a powerhouse. This is like an eight out of 10 in strength in my open layout. And it goes for like a full 24 hours. It could have gone longer. You could still smell it a tiny bit. So if you're being a real stickler, this could have gone like 36 to 48 hours. This is so good. Oh, and I'm getting low. I've only got a bar or two of this left and I love this one. This is such a good scent. So I hope we get this back before I run out. This is fantastic. And it's one that I only warm about once a year, but this one is amazing. Um, other ones that are kind of like it are Berry Bright, which is currently available in the spring summer catalog and um, Aladdin Three Wishes. It smells very similar to my nose as well. Um, not available currently, but it is in my club. So I love Blueberry Rush. So that is a fantastic one. Day two of the melting challenge, we did A is for apple in the open layout. This is a perfumey apple scent, perfumey green apple. It was very pleasant, very pretty, very traditional classic apple candle wax type scent. Um, yeah, it was tart, it was perfumey. The perfuminess did come out more as it went on longer. Um, it was a 24 hour type scent. It was pleasant. I would probably repurchase it if I saw it. Um, but yeah, there's that one. Then I did some vendor wax in the open area. On one of the days I did Mrs. Claus's cookies, which is an odd choice for this time of year, but this is a Harper James one that I had sitting around and I just wanted bakery. So this one is strawberry pound cake and peppermint sugar cookie. Yeah, this one's good. Her sugar cookie note is very good. This one is like strawberry mint, which kind of throws me a little bit with the sugar cookie. The sugar cookie's amazing. The strawberry and the mint together kind of reads a little bit dentist office to me. I don't know why, um, but just a tiny bit. But I overall liked the scent. I would probably repurchase it and it did very well in my open layout. This one was a shorter duration scent, maybe 12 hours or so, but it did like a solid medium and we really enjoyed it. Then I had done wild berries and cheesecake from the Better Homes and Gardens. This I think is available in the US at like Walmarts and stuff. I had just ordered this from like Amazon in the US and had it shipped here. This one is blueberry, blackberry, strawberry, sugar, lemon zest, and cheesecake scent notes. This is a kind of, I would say generic berry scent to my nose. Um, a little bit of a bakery scent or a cheesecake scent there, but it's not a super tangy cheesecake scent like the blueberry cheesecake scents he has. This one is just kind of a generic, I would say berry candle scent. It's all right, it was pleasant enough and it was what I wanted that day. Um, I wanted something a bit lighter, something a bit not as intense, and so this one did the trick. I would say this was again maybe a four or five out of ten, like a, a light to light medium. Well, not a, it wasn't light, it was like light medium. Maybe, again, like a four ish. Um, it was okay, it was fine, it was exactly what I wanted that day. So I do think I have like maybe one more bar of this, and yeah, it was pleasant. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was pleasant. Then we did Santa's Bake Shop, Harper James, again a Christmas one. This was fresh baked bread, gingerbread, nutmeg, caramel, and maple. So this was just kind of, again, a cloudy, gloomy day scent. Oh my gosh, this one's good. This one is like fresh baked bread with like spices. You definitely get the uh, like nutmeg and gingerbread. I don't really get caramel so much, maple a little bit, um, but it's like a spice bread. This is very, very good. Um, I would definitely repurchase this. This one, again, was a short duration one, but did very well in my open layout. I would say like a six or seven out of 10 in strength and about, a, again, like 12 hours. So that one was good. Then we did, again, one of my ones from my recent Sassy Girl Aroma order. This one just arrived like the other day. I just did this last night. This is Doughboy Bakery. This is waffle cone, sugar cookies, birthday, birthday, uh, marshmallow and ice cream scoop bread. This one is like cubes. This one is like just all of the bakery you can imagine, like just like the perfect bakery. Oh my gosh. Just like the perfect vanilla, vanilla based bakery scent. Very vanilla forward, um, very sweet. 
delicious. I love this one. You could mix this with any bakery. It would be great. It was good on its own. I did one of these cubes in each of my four warmers and it was a nice like I would say six out of ten in strength in the open layout here. Um, very short duration like six hours or so. Um, so a good evening scent not for an all day kind of thing but again this one probably needs to cure um, because I just got this and they were just made. So these vanilla type scents do tend to need to sit longer to get the maximum performance. The other thing I did and I think it was my favorite thing I've done over the last couple weeks was I chopped up this candle of pumpkin peanut brittle from Bath and Body Works and oh my gosh oh my gosh this one's so good. So I just take a chunk of wax about this size and put it in each of my four warmers out here and there's crumbles here too I'll just kind of add those too. Um, it's less than two cubes of Scentsy wax per warmer so I use less wax than I would have Scentsy um, and this lasts like two days and it's strong like eight out of ten in strength at least eight and a half nine maybe oh my gosh this one's good this particular scent is like the most perfect fall sweet pumpkin bakery caramel goodness toffee oh like pumpkin seeds too like what are the notes on this this one is crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds, and natural essential oils. You do get toasted pumpkin seeds here. This one is so good. I love this. Um, yeah, that one's fantastic. Love that. And I do have a couple more of those candles too. So that is what I've warmed over the last little while here. So got through a lot of different things and it's been kind of fun. I have a whole mismatch there. Like I've got like winter scents and spring scents and fruity scents and Disney scents and there's vendor wax and... It was kind of a, a mismatch of scents this time, but I really had fun warming through them. So I would love to know what you're warming this time of year and where you are. It's now early May. What are things looking like weather-wise where you are? We are, it's like we skipped spring. Like we just had the snow melt a couple weeks ago. The grass was brown until like three days ago. And now the grass is green and it's like 80 degrees outside. So beats me. My flowers are coming up now where they were like completely gone still a few days ago. There are now leaves on the trees starting, even though they were like not even existing three days ago. So we warmed up quick and it's almost like we skipped straight to summer. So I'd love to know how things are looking where you are as well. I just, I love knowing that. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.